what is going on everybody we're back with another video and today we're going to be setting up a tank for my little map my baby map turtle his name is spikey and i already have the tank behind you all cleaned up i just need to add some stuff into it and i'll show you that right now and this is the tank that i'm going to be using for this video and it's a bit scratched up but it'll do for this so the first thing we got to do is add some sand to the bottom of the tank and that's only optional because you don't have to have a substrate but I think it makes it look more natural and it makes the turtle feel like it's more in a natural environment. Some people get their sand from like the pet store, the actual sand that they sell there. You can get the sand from Home Depot, from Lowe's, the pet store but I personally just grab it from Home Depot because it's way closer and it's way cheaper. I will not be keeping uh, Spiky in there permanently it's just to show you guys what I would do if it was too cold which the cold already passed it's getting warmer already and uh, either way I have a heater outside but if it gets too cold and I have to bring him inside this is what I would do so let's get started and go get the sand at the Home Depot all right I got sand leveling sand which is what I use for my 55 yo all right so I got my sand here and now what I got to do is rinse it so I'm gonna put it all into the bucket even though I'm just gonna use like half of it maybe like a quarter of it but I'm also gonna be using some of these rocks right here on the corner and so I got to rinse those too but that's what I'm gonna do right now so let's go And that's how they make the chocolate milk that they give us at school. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So as you can see, after like the 50th rinse, it is kind of clear. And now I could take some of it inside to the tank where I'm going to be putting my turtle but I'll probably rinse it a couple more times to have it like crystal clear and then I'm going to take it inside. Alright so I got all the sand in and I have the rocks in the side in a cup all rinsed out and everything but before I add the rocks or anything else I'm gonna put some water in there maybe like two or three inches but of course before you put your water in you gotta dechlorinate it use a chemical that dechlorinates the water I use Seekin Prime and yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add the water in before I do anything else. So I put the water in at a pretty good level and I spread out the rocks randomly and now what I need is three more things. The filter, the basking dock which is outside and I'm going to take and the heat lamp and the turtle could already go in here so I'm going to bring him out. I mean I'm going to bring him in too with the basking dock and yeah and then we'll go from there. Alright, we're outside and this is the patio pond that I was talking about. 
and I'm gonna need to borrow this and I'm gonna borrow you so we're gonna put this guy in first spiky because I don't want him just roaming around in my room so here you go bud <laughs> looks like a little pebble <laughs> and now I'm gonna put in the basking dock which he needs to bask so All right, it is looking good. My boy is right there, still hiding because he's scared. But one more important detail that we need is the heat lamp, which I have here somewhere right here. Um, but you might need a screen lid like this to go on top of the tank to hold the heat lamp. Unless you have a little stand thing that holds the heat lamp. But you're going to want to put it right on top of where his basking dock is so he could bask there. Just like if he was outside in the sun. But look at him. He's being curious now. Alright, so it is officially complete. It looks pretty dope. And I would keep him in here, but I don't really have space. The desk that he's on right now, uh, I use for my laptop to do school and stuff. And of course, if you're going to permanently keep a turtle in here, you should probably get... A filter but since he's not staying in here you don't need a filter right now right right all right he obviously has his permanent home outside this is a 20 gallon tall which was pretty good for one baby turtle but if you want like two baby turtles you probably have to get a 20 long because there's more floor space but for him this is perfect and that is it that's the tank it looks pretty neat to me. There he is back there. Uh, you can barely see him, but it looks pretty neat. And I would definitely keep him in here. He looks way better in here and I would probably see him more often. But as you can see, that's his heat lamp right under, I mean, right on top of his um, basking dock. Just like if he was outside basking in the sun. I'm gonna try to throw some pellets in here see if he wants to eat them and if he does then I'll show you guys and if he doesn't then that's the end of this video but, but yeah that's the tank it's pretty neat all right everyone that is going to be it for this video um I hope you enjoyed it and like I said this is not his permanent home his permanent home or enclosure is outside in a patio pond that I made and if you want to know more about that make sure you check out the other videos that I'm going to put in the description below. But if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe so you don't miss out on other videos. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. This is not...